guys are going to play a team that won 10 in a row, and now you're playing a team that's lost nine in a row. The quick turnaround, a lot of young guys. It's kind of how do you make sure you don't, um, you, you know, that you don't suffer a letdown after such a big win, playing a, a team on a roll, and now you're playing a team that haven't won in you know a long time. Um, well, I mean, our coach said, I mean, see it as a. Uh... This is the SEC, so you mean every team come to play. So you got to be ready to play each and every game. And I mean, of course, we did what we should have did uh, last game. So we can't, you know, just have a pat on the back. We got to come ready to play every game, every single game. Yeah, we take no team lightly in the SEC. Regardless of their record, anybody could get beat on any night. We got to come and play our game. If we do that, we should like the outcome. I don't know if you guys watched any of the Vandy Tennessee tape, but actually, Vandy probably should have beaten Tennessee if they lost. In overtime, what, what does that say about Vanderbilt? Maybe you know they're, they're going to beat somebody. I mean, obviously, you don't want it to be you. It tells us that they have a strong team for them to play the number one team in the country and almost beat them. So, just again, we don't take no team lightly. They're talented. They have players great. They are good. We know them. We're going to scout and we're going to come out ready to play. Piggyback on what he said. I mean, you take no team lightly. I mean, they came ready to play against them, so we got to be ready to play against every other team we play. Um, what we preach every day, pressure in the ball, uh, making sure nobody have no open looks, no matter who it is. Uh, that's the main thing, getting up on the ball. Yeah, hey guys, who, who deserves credit for Dawson, Coach Anderson with the water bucket? And what's the name of his dance? And can you race? <laughs> well, I mean, we all came to it like we was going, I mean, great win, so he's going for it, Coach, with water. But uh, the dance, I don't know. I guess he was trying to do the shoot, I'm guessing. I mean, I didn't know what his dance was called, but. <laughs> it, it, was, it was our point guard's idea, Jalen Harris, to put the water on him. And he's trying to do the shoot. It's a dance from Memphis. It's called the shoot. <laughs> was, that, was that kind of fun to do? I mean, you guys had it was fun, you know, a little bit of celebration, but we enjoyed it till midnight and we back at it. Like, we forget about the win. Now, on to the next game. Y'all feel you learned the lesson. I remember after. Yeah, we need to understand that we only enjoy it for a couple hours after the game. And then after that, it's right back. You got another game. You can't enjoy it winning too long because you got to be ready, prepared to play the next game and not worry about the past games we play. If you had six assists, I guess LSU uh, docked you one. Uh, Mike, Mike had it back for you. But, you know, uh, that's usually a point guard stat, six assists. Uh, what's the key to – and all the assists and Keyshawn, what do you think about Gabe's uh, passing as well? Uh, the key to getting my assists, I mean, we were shooting the ball very well at LSU, so I was able to find the shooters open, Isaiah and Keyshawn, and also we have Dan in the paint, and when he gets the ball, he has, it's almost guaranteed a bucket or a foul, so getting him the ball is definitely key, and all of them helped me out by making their shots. Keyshawn, what do you think about well, I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, Gabe do it in practice as well. I mean, he's a great player all around. So, I mean, he can find players. And when people knock down shots, I mean, it just go along with the flow. Uh, um, Keyshawn, you, you, you'd been struggling a little bit in SEC play shooting-wise, and you obviously got it going. What, what was the difference? And when you're a young guy, what's the key to not losing your confidence? Um, that's the main thing, just keeping my confidence. I mean, all my teammates, Gabe, all the older guys, I mean, they tell me to just keep working and don't never lose the confidence. You don't never know when it's going to come and just be ready to play every time you step on the floor. Did you see what you saw out of him the other night? Yeah, I saw, I mean, I saw the Keyshawn. I know he's always been able to play like. I saw him play not thinking, but just playing his game. And it really didn't surprise me at all. I expect him to do that almost every game. Gabe, you, okay. You, you you took three charges. I'm not sure. Where, where, is Isaiah still a charge ahead or something? Oh, you're too. Okay. Well, how's it feel? You back in the charge lead, and if if you you ever ever remember taking three in a three in a game before, and kind of how, how'd you feel physically after all that? I, I'm, I remember taking charges in the game. It feels good. Big momentum plays here in the crowd at LSU loud, and then being able to silence them with a charge and know it's going back the other way. It feels good. Yeah. So he said that 
physically or you're, you're pretty sore? When you're I'm good. I take it like a soldier. I'm good. For both of you guys, the, the rebounding, especially the offensive rebounds the other teams have had the last couple of games have been so lopsided. How do you guys correct that as you kind of go on this next stretch you're on? Um, I would say toughness and just playing more physical. I mean, we got to get in there, get our bodies in there and move people. That's what, that's the main thing we have to improve on. So, I mean, of course, I know in practice today, we're going to get to it and uh, get better at it. Yeah, coach has been emphasizing rebounding. Even though we've won the last two games, being out rebounded is definitely going to catch up to us. So we're going to learn how to like get our bodies on people, play more physical, and get to the ball first before the other team. And you know, Coach Anderson, he has a, a right, what is he, 36 and 37 and 20, I think, in February now here, or something like that. And that's against you know SEC teams, maybe some Big 12 teams in the challenge. Um, how much have you guys improved since you know a month ago? And, and the fact he has a good February record, is that something you guys can kind of, kind of feed off? Does that give you all some added confidence? It does. But over the course of the past months as a team, I see everybody improving. We're all, again, used to our roles, all knowing what we need to do. We understand the defense more, what we need to do to win, taking good shots on offense. And just the young guys learning and understanding now, I think now everybody gets what we're trying to do. Yeah, that's the main thing. I mean, everybody understanding. I mean, we getting finding out our role, what everybody needs to do, especially on the defense end, uh, locking down on defense. I mean, letting the offense come to everybody. I mean, moving, passing, cutting, and it just get, makes everybody better. G-Shot, you took a tumble the other day. Uh, it looked like maybe left shoulder. What was it and how are you feeling? Oh, it was just my left shoulder. I mean, I'm fine. I mean, like he said, I'm a soldier as well. I mean, it happens. Part of basketball, I mean, get up and get ready for the next day. You know, you guys said, you know, the SEC, anybody can win. But you, you, you've you won, I guess, three SEC games now, three in a row, I think, right? Just how, how, how do you feel about the, the way y'all are playing right now? Um, I feel we're playing our game right now. We're getting used to what Coach A said. Even though we're being out-rebounded, we need to improve on that. We're just playing basketball. We're going with the game plan, and the outcomes are good for us. Yeah, that's the main thing. I mean, going in with the game plan and just everybody being coachable and just letting the game come to everybody, and, and the outcome is great. And I think you all have forced over 20 turnovers in three of the last four games, and the other game was 16. You held Georgia like 29%. I mean, just how, well, what's really working defensively, and you're getting a lot of points off turnovers and getting you know, open court scoring mm -hmm. and all that? Coach A emphasized us getting up on the ball. I mean, early in the year, we really weren't up on the ball and pressuring, disrupting their offense. But now we're starting to understand the things we need to do on defense which is causing the other team to turn over the ball. Yeah, that's the main thing. Causing the other team to turn over the ball, being aggressive. I mean, the whole game, like you said, 40 minutes, not 20, just 40 minutes, the whole game, pressuring. I mean, starters started out. I mean, bench players is just the whole group. You guys are 21 games into the season. I know you're, you were a young team to start. Do you guys consider yourself still young, or is that kind of a moniker that you guys don't care to hear about anymore? No, we're not, the young thing is like we're not young anymore. At this point in the season, the freshmen have been able to play games, experience it. So young is not an excuse for us anymore. Yeah, like he said, I mean, we're not young anymore. Like Coach I say, if you're freshman, you're a sophomore. You're a sophomore, you're a junior. You're a junior, you're a senior. I mean, all the games we grew up. So, I mean, everybody is experiencing every single team. So it's getting everybody better each and every day. In case, I think it was late in the game. Uh, Waters knocked the ball away from you. You got it. You were on the floor, and then he, he basically dove on you. I thought watching on TV. <laughs> you didn't get. You didn't get. Were you guys aware that they were getting? There were a lot more fouls getting called on you guys, and they were. It was twenty-seven point or twenty-seven free throw differentials. That's something you realized during the game. And how do you kind of cope with that? How do you deal with that? Uh, I mean, it, I mean, it happens. I mean, you know, you never know if it's going to go your way or not. I mean, that's why in practice we prepare for that. I mean, coach don't call, things will go our way. I mean, we just prepare for the good and the bad. I mean, it can be five versus five, five versus eight, it doesn't matter. We just gonna come out and play hard and just adjust to anything. I think we don't really worry about that kind of stuff. We just go out and play our game and take care of what we can control ourselves. And that's playing hard. So that's all we take care of.